Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boars with the Mike Boars channel. Thank you for watching. Hey, we're talking boats today, and in today's video, we are going to install a brand new OEM Quicksilver fuel pump to our 40 horsepower, three cylinder outboard engine. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, to the workstation and to the OEM part. Down below in the comments and description will be a replacement part. Again, OEM. We will also have an aftermarket option, and the part number in our case ending in 73. There is a superseded ending in 78. However, the only difference is the 73 is basically just the pump, the gasket, the elbow, and some zip ties, as well as a plug and additional elbow, depending on which horsepower you have. And we'll talk about that here shortly. However, the part number ending in 78, that's the entire kit, fuel, hoses, lines, and more. But in our case, we don't need that. And number two, depending upon specific installation, either tighten the impulse elbow already loose in the fuel pump to the correct angle needed, install the smaller elbow to the correct angle needed for the 50, 55, or 60 horsepower models, or install the plug for use on the 40 horsepower four cylinder. We only have a three cylinder, so we're not going to use the plug, which is the brass plug right there. We're not using that larger elbow fitting. We are going to basically just hand tighten that fitting into the threaded insert and position the fuel pump again in on the left out on the right and as far as the gasket how it is going to be pressed in and secured against the engine block the oval up top just below the top hole that is going to be positioned up top and basically on the back side we have a little pin right there and that will go inside and secure to the hole of the block to an update, I carefully tightened the elbow fitting into the brand new fuel pump and I basically grabbed the old fuel pump, just double checked everything, make sure everything looks the same. I've removed the bolts that go through and secure the pump to the block. Again, brand new gasket. And as far as the size of our elbow fitting, it was a 7 16 wrench that helped me out to tighten it. And just a little bit of red showing. In addition, I am going to rebuild this pump with this kit. Down below in the comments and description will be a link on where to purchase this kit. It's got all your brand new gaskets, spring, and diaphragm. You may want to go that route or do what we did, purchase a brand new OEM fuel pump and rebuild this one for backup. Last thing I want to do before we head back to the boat is show you the orientation of the bolts. Again, on the left is the in, on the right is the out, and the elbow fitting up top, and the way the gasket's going to go on, I'm going to basically press those bolts in place. And I've got this little stud here, which will be at the top right. And again, this is the bottom left. And that hole cannot be covered. That's extremely important. And the gasket is going to be positioned like that. So again, that hole has to be open. And the oval goes over the stud. And again, orientation-wise of how it's going to be secured to the boat engine. Back to the lake and to the outboard, and it's starting to sprinkle. We are going to reverse the steps and secure the brand new fuel pump. Fuel pump back in. The first thing I did was basically secure the hose, and that is going to be the trickier of the three hose connections. So I did that first before anything else. Make a progress, and at this point you're doing about 10 things at once, and we actually had to loosen up this bolt because we have this brace or mount, and we've inserted both of the 15 16 bolts that are going to secure the pump to the engine. And on the back side, with basically all 10 fingers coming back under and to the rear on both bottom and top to properly place and position that gasket. And at this point, I am going to screw in the bolts. You want to tighten them in a star pattern and don't tighten them all the way and come down verify your gasket on the very bottom is sticking out as well as on top that's properly positioned good From here, the two additional hoses. We'll start with the top. And the hose that feeds up to the fuel filter. A 
Coming into a closer view and all four bolts are secured and the gaskets are properly mating and sealed. And all hoses are re-secured. We will zip tie them in place. Zip ties in place and tighten and I will snip them away carefully without damaging or cutting anything in the surrounding area such as the hose they are securing as well as electrical wire and just be careful. Zip ties are all cut and just be careful as you do this you do not want to accidentally cut the surrounding seals or gaskets these little things right here and double check everything if all looks good we are going to start the engine and check for leaks. Now we're coming up and to the front portion or inner portion re-secure your fuel hose and I recommend maybe two to three pumps just to push that fuel through the hose and into the brand new fuel pump and into the filter because again that's empty. The hours as you just saw, we allowed it to run for 10 minutes and then we began revving it up and check for leaks and no leaks, which is awesome. We hope this helps. Do us a favor below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And again, down below in the comments and description, several additional videos working on this outboard engine.